Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages, welcome back to FTB Revelation. That's right, folks, we're back in our modded world. We're doing some modded Minecraft, doing all the cool things. Uh, last episode, we did a few things. We started laying out the base, and as you can see, a few things have changed. It's gotten a little bigger than it was the last time you were around. Um, moved some of my storage inside. Also, <coughs> got rid of the uh, got rid of the old hut that we had to start with. Um, so we'll talk about some of that to begin with uh, here this episode. Last episode, we also went up there and, and did some stuff up there at that slime island. So we got, as you saw out there just a second ago, we got some slime trees. And we got ourselves a lot of slime. Uh, not a lot, but a fair bit. You know, we got 37 congealed green slime blocks and 13 regular slime. Um, and we are also, <clears throat> some of you called me on it, right? We went up there, we got to the slime island, and everybody's like, oh, dude, you didn't make the slime sling or the slime boots. Well, I can fix that, right? So here we go. We got a couple of slime balls and a couple of slime blocks. Here are a pair of slime boots, right? And then you got the couple of pieces of string, a couple of pieces of slime, and a congealed green slime block, and that gives you the slime sling. Um, these are cool because we, you don't take fall damage. Uh, so if I just do this, like, like just like this, just... Uh, I, yeah. Aha, how about how's the, how cool is that? That is so cool. And then of course if you hit shift, you just do a little plant, right? Um so we got our slime sling, slime boots. Now we should be able to maneuver around places and get things going pretty easily. I want to get in here and sleep because mobs, right? <clears throat> oh. Uh are you outside? I hope you're outside. I hope you're outside. Yeah, he's outside. That's fine. Okay, so <clears throat> the other thing I wanted to do real quick before we get on to what today's episode is all about is we got this stone sword. We've had it since day number one. Uh, it's really not working out for us very well. I want to get a I want to get a, a, a tinker tool, right? So I went ahead and got a uh, a wooden tool rod. I got a, a slime wide guard, and I got a flint sword blade. It's not the greatest sword. It only does four point nine attack, but it's got four hundred and twelve durability. And, uh, and it can be repaired, it can be upgraded, so now we've got ourselves a, a Tinker Sword that we can do some stuff with. And also, this leveled up, so I'm level 2 on this now, I'm comfortable with it. Uh, it has Crude 2 and Slimy and Ecological, which I think it had Crude 1 on it before? Maybe? I don't know. Um, but the uh, but it now has two modifiers. No, it only has one modifier. Oh, yeah. Okay, it has two modifiers on it now, so we should be able to uh, do some stuff with it and make it a little bit better. Um, maybe put some redstone on it, give it some mining speed and all that. Uh, so, yeah. But I've uh, I've done some expansion, so we've got three rooms, well, two rooms over here. We've got two rooms going that way. Uh, you can see by the mini-map that everything looks kind of cool. And then we're going back this way, and it actually goes all the way across, uh, all the way to the backside. Now, I've got some more of the stuff that I've got to fill in here, but um, I, I don't have any more cobblestone. <laughs> I mean, I have a little, but uh, obviously cobblestone is going to be a big thing to, to finish this base layout. Um, so we're going to have to go about that at a reasonable pace, I would suspect. I mean, because this right here, this is all the cobblestone that I have. I got what? Two, two full stacks plus a little bit, right? So two and a half stacks, essentially. That's not going to cut it, right? We're just not going to have enough. So we need to do some stuff. And one of the things that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to set up a, uh, a cobble works, right? And I've got a plan for that, but I'm not ready to do that yet. The cobble work that I want is the stonework factory, I think it is. Stonework. Yeah, that's it. Um... This thing is really cool. It's by uh, it's by Industrial Foregoing, and it will allow you to do all of the cool cobblestoney type things. It'll allow you to make all kinds of stuff, and we're we're gonna make this, but we don't we're not ready to make it yet because we don't have a way to make plastic yet. It also calls for pink slime balls, and I don't know that that's or dictionary. So if we don't have pink slime balls, we may not be able to uh, we may not be able to make that yet. But before we can really even run the thing, we gotta have power, and so that's what we're gonna work on today. Uh, remember that I said. The the middle of our base, so one, two, here is three right here, right? So it goes two more that way, it goes two that way. So the very middle of our base, this center piece, this center piece right here, going from here all the way up to whatever the top of this thing is going to be, the whole center section is going to be kind of like uh, power base central, right? Um, and we're going to do we're going to do some cool stuff. We're going to use actually additions to power uh, this base for this season of modded Minecraft. Um, so at Actually, additions. 
uh, <clears throat> actually, before we do that, actually, actually, uh, let's just go and look at generators, right? Generator. So there are three generators essentially from actually editions. So you've got the leaf eating generator, you've got the coal generator, and you've got the oil generator. Now the leaf eating generator, is, as one would assume, it eats leaves and generates RF. Or actually it generates CF, which is kind of like RF, but still. Um, you got the coal generator, so that runs on coal or charcoal, and then you have the oil generator, which runs on canola oil, and this will put out more RF in the long run than a standard coal generator will. So, so I kind of want to use this, but here's the issue: in order to make the oil that this thing runs off of, you have to make a uh, uh, what's it what's it called? Uh, where's my book? Here, let's pull up my book here real quick and I can tell you what it's called so boom and boom and boom so in order to make the oil you have to make uh, a let's see it's a book that or a block that uses CF uh, it is a crusher no it's not the crusher it's not the farmer it's not the battery box there is a um, there's a there's a witch out there somewhere I don't have to figure out where he's at um, oh gosh, where is it? So canola. Let's just look up canola oil. That'll work out better. List of everything. So canola, crafting, and power, crystals. Uh, is it oil? It's just oil. Fisher, hopper, thingy dingy. Nope. Click here to search. So canola. There we go. Canola and oil, right? So you get canola from client. From, uh, you need a canola press. That's what it was. So the canola press... Uh, it needs RF to run, right? So canola press is a pretty easy block to make, but it takes these Inori crystals, and the Inori crystals you have to make with an atomic reconstructor. And in order to make all that, in order to be able to get oil power, you have to have a basic uh, power setup to begin with. And so that's what we need to do first. First things first, we need to make the coal generator because that's that's how we have to make power to start with. So we're going to go ahead and make a coal generator. That just takes uh, cobblestone, a couple pieces of coal, an iron casing, and we should be good to go there. So I've got some iron casings that I found in a uh, in a village. We might need all three of these. I don't know. Let's get ourselves a uh, partial stack of cobblestone, and then we also need some coal. So two of those. Uh, and then if we go ahead like this and go like this, then we have a coal generator, right? So we're going to bring this thing back here. Oh, let's get some, let's get something to power it with. Uh, I guess eight now, because that's kind of all we have. We may need to go ahead and get some, uh, some other power situated and started. Um, take you out of there and put you there for now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put you down right there. Right, and we're gonna go ahead and get you started making uh, making some power because we're gonna need you to be powered up. Right, the next thing that we want to make uh, is is gonna be uh, the the next item is gonna be the atomic reconstructor. I think it is. Uh, let's see. So the oil generator doesn't require any special components, right? It doesn't. It just requires two iron casings, which we have. Uh, it takes cobblestone and it takes some canola. Well. Haha, <laughs> funny you should say it takes canola because I wanted to show you this anyway. We've been doing some farming up here. I've got some uh, I've got some crops. We did a whole section of rice seeds. I was able to get a bunch of worms and so these are all growing and I've got canola over here. I also put in some flax up here so we got a a nice big steady uh, supply of string which is going to be cool. Uh but in order to do this, we just need some uh, we just need some canola. Uh so there's a piece right there. Cool. Let's go ahead and go down here. Hiya. That's perfect. Let's go ahead and go here, go here, there, and boom, oil generator, okay? So now the oil generator, it needs to have canola oil in order to make RF, right? Um, don't have any canola oil, so there's nothing in here, right? So somewhere in here, we're going to have to have this oil press, right? Uh, it's a canola press, canola press, this thing, right? So... In order to get this, we got to have an advanced coil. Advanced coil is just a basic coil. Basic coil, though, that's a little bit more complicated to get because it requires these Restonia crystals. The Restonia crystals and also the Inori crystals, these things here, you have to make those with a atomic reconstructor. So what the atomic reconstructor does is it uses 
uh, CF, which is basically RF, and it changes something from one form to another. So in the case of the Inori crystal, it takes iron using RF and manipulates it to become this Inori crystal. Does the same thing with redstone and making the Restonia blocks or the Restonia crystals. To make one of these, you need another iron casing, and then you need to have redstone and iron. Iron casing is some sticks, some iron, and a black quartz piece, right? I think I have some of that. If I don't, I know I have some black quartz ore, and we just had to smelt that. So do I have? I do. Cool. So we got one of those. Um, we're going to need some iron, which we don't have. I'm going to have to cook up some iron here real quick, I think. Well, I might, I might have a little. I do. I did cook some up. Good. How much do I need? That's not what I want. I want the atomic reconstructor. So let's go in and get the atomic reconstructor. Let's get this. We're going to need four plus four is eight. So we need eight pieces of iron. Cool. Okay. So atomic reconstructor, make block, please. Can't. Don't have sticks. Do I have sticks in here? Nope. Uh, do I have sticks in there? Nope. Do I have sticks in here? Nope. But I do have this so we can make some sticks like so. Boom. Okay. So now we can make this. We can make this. We can do that. That gives us that. And now we can make the atomic reconstructor after we get some redstone, which redstone was here. Yeah. Uh, it was four pieces, right? Cool. So redstone. Boom. Uh, atomic reconstructor. Cool. There we go. Now, the other thing that the atomic reconstructor does uh, is it can it has two modes of operation. It either has a constant pulsed fire on its own, where it just constantly shoots out a laser beam to, to do these things, or you can put it in what's called a pulse mode. And we're going to want it in pulse mode. To make sure it's in pulse mode, we got to have some more redstone, because we need a redstone torch. We'll take that like that, we'll go like that, we'll get that. And then we're going to need a button. Uh, we should be able to get a button from that, right? Doesn't need to be anything special as far as a button goes. So let's go over here. And when we take the atomic reconstructor and we put it down here, this will power it, right? So it should be getting power in it. Yeah, there it goes. So now we need to take the redstone torch and we need to click it. And notice how it says now that it says pulse, right? So it's ready to be pulsed. So we can take this, we can put this up here like this, and we can just go bloop, right that. Uh, let's take a nap because nighttime cometh and baddies come out at night. So we should now be ready to start making our first components. The first component that we needed was we needed an Inari crystal, right? Uh, we wanted the uh, canola press. So canola press. And so the canola press needs the Inari crystal. It needs a piece of canola. It needs some stone. And it needs an advanced uh, thing. So it needs four pieces of redstone. We can get that. It needs one Inari crystal, which is going to be uh, a piece of iron. So we should be able to get all of that. So we need four pieces of iron and one, or yeah, four pieces of redstone and one piece of iron. So get one piece of iron, boom, and get four pieces of redstone, one, two, three, four, and you can go there. Uh, and I think that's everything that we're going to need. If we bring this over here now, and we just go ahead and drop these items down here. So that one and that one. Should be able to do all of these at once, right? Go ahead and fire the laser. Ah, oh, look at that. So we've got four Inari crystal, or four Restonia crystals and one Inari crystal. That is amazing. That's perfect. That's exactly what we need. So come back over here. Now to make the oil press, to make the canola press, we gotta have a piece of canola, which I should have some still in my inventory, I do. Uh, and we need stone, which I should have all of that. Oh, I need this, I need the advanced coil. So we need the basic coil. That's gonna need a piece of here, a piece of black quartz, so we can make that. Uh, that like that, that like that, cool. We need some gold, gold nugget. Ah, gold nuggets. And then we should be able to make this. Yeah. And now we should be able to make the canola press. Yes. Sweet. So now we got a canola press. What can we do with the canola press, you might ask? Well, let me show you. Hey, I hear a spider. Are you up there or are you down here? Let's see. I think he's under. Pretty sure he's under. Pretty sure he's under. 
Um, he is over here. Yeah, there he is. Hi, Mr. Spider. You're kind of annoying, and I don't like you at all. And now you're dead. Aha. Uh, except now I can't get back inside. Darn it. Um, let's do that. Sure, that'll work. Uh, yeah, that works. Uh, let's put a torch on that because darkness. Okay, so now we can take the canola press, right? And we'll just go ahead and for now, we'll go ahead and put it on top of here. And it should start taking RF, which is good. So let's go harvest some more canola and I'll show you what this thing will do. As we need to harvest canola anyway. Okay, yep. So let's go ahead and grab as much of this as we can. Of the canola. Canola oil is going to be super easy to get too, which is going to be awesome. Okay, so that should be all of the canola, right? Plus we got seeds and all that good stuff. So we drop back down here. Oh, hey. Ow. There we go. All right, so coming back over here now, we should be able to take some of this canola and put it into the canola press. And for now, let's just go ahead and do one. So one piece of canola is going to give us 80 millibuckets of canola oil. Right, which is going to be cool because then we can take that canola oil and we can put it into the oil uh, to the canola oil generator, and then we can use it to make uh, we can use it to make CF or RF for whatever forever whatever it's worth. So let me go ahead and get some more of this cooking. Uh, we're also going to need to get some kind of item ducts, and I think the only way to do uh, no, actually, oh yeah, we're going to do this. We're going to do this with. Yeah, we're going to do this with Actually Additions, because Actually Additions has uh, some cool stuff. They've got lasers. Um, so there's an energy re laser relay. There's also a uh, advanced energy laser. There's an extreme energy laser. There's fluid lasers, and then there's item lasers. The fluid lasers and the, and the regular energy lasers, those are, I think, what I want to start with. So in order to make these, we're going to need some redstone blocks. We're going to need some obsidian. Ooh, I don't have... I don't have any obsidian. I mean, I have no obsidian, right? Uh, what can I do to get obsidian? Um, I have diamonds. So... I have diamonds, so we could just get a diamond pickaxe, right? Which, I know where there's some obsidian at, but I don't really want to waste my diamonds on that. The other thing that we could do... Uh, we need to get into a little bit deeper into tinkers anyway. So... If we... If we were to that gravel, that doesn't go in there. Whoops. Hey, come back here. There we go. Gravel goes over here. There we go. So if we take some of this and some of this and we come over here and we get some of this. Yes, we'll do clay. We can uh, we can totally get into um, Tinker's Construct. We can make a, we can make a Tinker's Smeltery, but it's going to take a little while for this to smelt. So let's go ahead and dump that in there. Uh, let's get the rest of this here because we're going to probably need that too. And let's get that too. We're going to need as much of this as we can get, actually. There we go. So boom, boom. Cool. All right, I'm going to need to let that cook up, uh, but we can totally get into Tinker's Construct and we can put the Smeltery in this room here, I believe. Uh, and it doesn't have to be big. We just need a little something that we can make some obsidian in. Um, so if we take a, a bucket of lava and a bucket of water and put those into the smeltery, then we can get uh, obsidian out of that. So I'll be right back when this is finished Please cooking don't. up. Uh, but yeah, anyway, we're going to need some lava. And I'm pretty sure there's some lava over this way. Yeah, there's lava. So there's one. There's two. Cool. Um, we're going to need two buckets of lava. We're going to be two buckets of water. Um, and then we put those into the seared or uh, into the tinker smeltery and we can make obsidian that way, which is very cool. Um, there are mobs all over the place and they are scaring me. Okay, anyway, not scared. Not totally scared anyway. I'm totally fearless, right? Anyway, yeah, we'll take these upstairs. We'll put them into the smeltery uh, that we're going to make here in just a second. And, uh, and we should then be able to make our own obsidian without having to mine it. And then we don't have to... Uh, then we don't have to do anything really weird, right? We don't have to go. We don't have to go wasting diamonds to, to mine obsidian, which will be very cool. The other thing that we can do is if we make our own obsidian um, in uh, in here, then we can get a obsidian 
uh, sharpening kit, and we can actually sharpen our pickaxe, and it'll be able to, to mine obsidian. But anyway, go in here. Nope, not there. Uh, go in here. We got some there. We should have some here. Uh, in that one over there, I'm making charcoal, so there's that, and then there's that, and that should give us two stacks. Cool. Uh, so, first things first, we need a Tinker Smeltery Controller. That would be this thing, right? Yes. The other thing that we need is a Smeltery Tank. That's what this piece of glass here is for. So we make that, like so. Okay, so there's that. We need a one of these. Uh, then we need one of these for sure. We'll get one drain. We'll get a faucet. And then I think we're in good shape. I think the only thing we need after that is going to be uh, smeltery blocks in order to make uh, a smeltery that's large enough that we can at least get started, right? So let's go over here. And let's go ahead and put a... Uh, let's go ahead and put a block there, there 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 or there 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 gives me 16 left go like that we can put one there and we can get this back now like that uh then we can get this and we can put there and we can put our smeltery controller uh now put our tank there so we'll put the tank there that's not the tank where's the tank go there it is We'll put the tank there. Oh, I'm going to need to get another bucket of lava, aren't I? I am. Um, actually, you know what? I can totally do that, can't I? Can. Yeah, I can totally do that. So let's put the let's put that there. Put this. This. Put that there. And that's a valid tinker smeltery. Cool. So we'll put this like that. We'll put this block right down here like that. That way we can cast our. Uh, cast our stuff away. We'll put that in there. Then here, um, let's go like this and put... No! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was so almost bad. That was almost bad. Uh, you put it in there. There? There? There. Put it in there. Whew. That was so bad. Ugh. All right, I'm going to go get another bucket of lava and two buckets of water, and uh, we'll see if we can make some obsidian. I'll be right back. All right, so one, two buckets of water. So now there should be obsidian in here, right? Yeah, there's two blocks of obsidian. Oh, is that all? There's only two blocks of obsidian? Oh, I'm going to have to totally do that again. Why is there only two blocks of obsidian? Weird. So that is weird because it's a thousand, mil it's a thousand millibuckets of water. Where's my obsidian recipe here? So obsidian, obsidian. So to make an obsidian block here, you need 288 millibuckets of obsidian. That doesn't make any sense. Because that says that that needs that much, right? Fluids, uh, smeltery, should be... Melter from nuclear craft? No. I thought for sure. That's weird. Alloy. Oh, okay. Yeah, so 125 millibuckets of water. That's weird. How much is in here now? One block. I mean, that's cool and all, but I feel like I've been gypped. I feel like I've totally been gypped because one bucket is a thousand millibuckets, isn't it? Because now there's none left. Okay, I guess I gotta go get two more. I guess I gotta go get two more buckets of lava and then we'll have our four that we need to make our uh, our relay. So I'll be, uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so there's one block, actually three blocks and four blocks. And then what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to make these uh, these item relays, right? Or actually not item relays yet, but we're looking to make the energy relays. And so to make that, I'm going to need some more Restonia crystals, which I made some more of those. Uh, I went ahead and made a couple more of those. We're going to need some redstone blocks and we're going to need some obsidian blocks. That's what this all process was all about. So if we put the obsidian blocks in there like this and we need to get a couple of redstone blocks, that's going to be over here. So two redstone blocks right so that's 18 redstone yes 
So like that. Cool. And put a redstone block there. And there we got the Restonia crystals here. Uh, that means we need two of those. Whoops. There. Cool. Uh, we need the advanced coil, which is a basic coil, which is four of those around a piece of black quartz. So we should have some black quartz in here. Cool. So one of those plus four of those. Boom, 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 and boom. And then we need some more gold. That's this. We have one, so we might as well just make another one. Boom. That's those. So we need that, that, that. Cool. And then this goes right here in the center, and that gets us four energy relays. Now the energy relays are cool because you can set them up over onto our uh, onto our devices over here, like this right here, which I've already got canola in, right? And boom, put that right on the top. It's not sending any RF right now because there's nothing for it to send RF to, okay? But if I were to take, say, this little puppy right here, I can break this, right? Uh, it says it's breakable, so go ahead and break, please. Yeah, there we go. And let's say if I put it right over, oh, I don't know, let's put it right over here. Put it right here, uh, but let's make it so that it faces here, this way, like so. Yeah. And we put one of these up there on top, and we put our button on the side again. Is that, uh, it's still set for pulse, good. Put our button on the side. Uh, and then, let's see, we should have to, we've got to configure these. So I think there's a wrench that we've got to configure them with. Let's take a look at that real quick. So wrench. Nope, no, there's not two E's in wrench. So there's only one. There we go. And it should be this one. Yeah, the laser wrench. Cool. So the laser wrench is an advanced coil plus two Inari crystals, which I think I can make all of those right now. Um, an advanced coil. Do I have four of those? I have three. Ugh, okay. We need a piece of redstone, and we need two pieces of iron. So let's go put this over here, and we might have enough power in there to do this. I'm pretty sure we do, because it, I think it keeps its internal buffer. It does. So let's go ahead and drop that out there like so, and that out there like so, and yeah, cool. So now we should be able to make the wrench. But you know, I'm over there. No. So now we should be able to make the wrench, which will be cool. So that is going to be, um, we're going to need a piece of black quartz, um, the advanced coil, so that's this like so. And, oops, not that, uh, this like this. And then we need some more gold nuggets. Which is gonna be this, right? Cool like that. It's all cool like that. And then surround that up like this. Cool. Now we can take this plus these, and that makes the wrench. And I think the wrench, if I'm not mistaken, the wrench, what we have to do is we have to click on it and get it to link up. So. Um, energy flow both directions, uh, click there, click there, yeah, so now this thing is getting power, sweet, how about that, so now we've got a nice little energy feed from over here to over here, which is cool, um, this over here is creating canola for us, so let's, we can, we should be able to get in there, right, so it's creating canola for us, but I, I want to make sure that the canola that gets, that gets created here gets, to go to here, right? So let's see if we can do something about that. Uh, because I want to be able to set this up so that we can configure this just about any way we want, right? So let's go back to these relays again. There's a fluid relay, okay? So the fluid relay is a regular energy relay in a atomic reconstructor. It takes 2000 CF to do it, but that's okay because we should have plenty of power to do this with. So if we take this in here like so, and drop him it in here like this. Hit the button. Aha, now we have two fluid relays. Haha, -ha. love it. So if we take a fluid relay, um, as a matter of fact, let's go like this. This takes a pickaxe. Let's break that. We'll put this right here. Can we put this right here? I'll tell you what, let's put it right here. Um. Let's, no, I tell, you, I tell you what, let's put this here. 
Yeah, I you know what? It was best where I had it. Let's let's just put it back where we had it. I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. We're probably going to have to reconfigure a lot of this anyway. So that has power, right? Can I go like this? Can I take this fluid relay and put it on the top and put that fluid relay on the side and then do this? So you get linked to you. Aha. Cool. So this should stay full of canola. This should start to process canola. If we use this, uh, let's see, what's something else that we need to make with our newly found technology here? Let's, well, let's just make a, uh, let's just make a little stack of, uh, of Inari crystals because we're going to need them anyway. So let's grab some, uh, let's grab some of these. Let's grab nine of those, right? We'll make a red, uh, an, a, an iron block because you can do these recipes in block form or in individual item form, right? We put this right down here like so, and boom, push the button. So now we've got a block of Inari crystals, right? Uh, this, full still. This, still making canola. Cool. Actually, it's not making canola because we're out. We're out to get some more from up top. Uh, time to take a little nap. There's one more thing that I want to see about getting in here today, and that is the ability to double our ores. And so to double our ores, that's going to be the uh the crusher so c-r-u-s-h-e-r -E crusher uh should be this block right here so in order to make that we're going to need uh, another iron casing we're going to need a couple more restonia crystals we're going to need some flint and we're going to need some of these so let's go ahead and make oh let's go ahead and make a bunch of these let's go ahead and make some of these like so uh better make it two blocks of Restonia crystals. Oh, we've got Renari crystals and Restonia crystals and crystal this and crystal that and boy oh boy. One, two, push the button. Cool, there's those. Okay, so now we've got some of those. What else are we gonna need? We're gonna need the crusher needs another iron casing, which we should be able to make. Totally easy, right? Um, so we need a couple of these, one, two, three, four. And that, sh oh, we need a piece of quartz. Black quartz, cool. Uh, there's that, there's that. Make that, cool. Then we can do these. Uh, we need two more pieces of black quartz. Two. So these, like so. What am I missing? Oh, hey, hey. That's what I'm missing. So I can do those, do those, do that. Oh, I, only have, I only need one. I need to make another one. Boom, cool. Okay, can I make this now? What am I missing? I'm missing flint. Do I have any flint? No. No, I don't. But I do have this. So if I break this up, will I get... Will I get some flint? Try this and see. I probably... I should get a couple, right? None there. None there. There's one. We'll just break all of this. I'm sure we can get another piece of flint. I'm hoping we can get another piece of flint. I mean, it'd be very embarrassing if I couldn't. One piece of flint, that's all you're going to give me? There it is. Cool. We'll break the rest of this up. And besides, having extra flint around is good because you never know when you're going to need to repair one of these tools. So now we should be able to make this. Aha! So there is the crusher. So now we've got that. If we bring this over here and put it next to, uh, let's go ahead and break this, because all that has in it is, uh, what, a bucket of canola oil, I thought. Oh, yeah, there it is. So we got a bucket of canola oil. Uh, so now we can put that there, right? That's going to fill up with power. So now we can come over here and get some of our ores. Like so. Let's get our, get our stack of iron that we have. And let's see if we can get this thing to double this up for us. I think it will. Boom. Yeah. So that should give us two. Yeah, that gives us two iron pulverized iron. The other thing that we might want is probably some way to cook it up. So let's see if we can come up with something for that. That's going to be a furnace. And I think there's a redstone furnace. Uh, actually, let's just look for furnace in actually additions. A powered furnace. So that takes two Inari crystals, two basic coils, another iron casing. So we should be able to make that. 
let's get one of these, two of those, I think. Uh, can we make the iron, excuse me, the iron casing? Because we don't have enough iron on us. We have four iron left. That's no bueno. Iron casing, that takes care of that. Then we need uh, these, which we should be able to make. Actually, I need to make two of those. There's two of those. Cool. We should need some Inari crystals and a couple of furnaces. We should have plenty of cobblestone to make a couple of furnaces. Cool. There's that. Two furnaces. And I think we should be able to make a powered furnace now. No, because we don't have any Inari crystals because those are still in block form. Ah, now we can make this. Boom. Yeah, there we go. So now if we hook this up to some power. Um, uh, can I do that? I think I need another one of these. Can I make another one of those? Uh, relay. How do we make that? That's a one of those, a couple of redstone blocks, some more obsidian. Okay, let me go and gather up the stuff for that, and we'll get this thing powered up, and I'll show you how it works, and that'll be probably it. We'll, have, we'll be able to call the episode. Be right back. Okay, here's the uh, last block of obsidian that we need to make the rest of those relays. Um, once we get those other two relays in here, then we're going to see if we can figure out a good way to... Um, oh, hey. Uh, what? Wait a minute, what? Oh, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Miscounted. This is the last block of obsidian that we need. That was kind of dumb. That was really dumb. So we put this in here like this. That'll give us two more of those relays. Or I'm sorry, four more of those relays, right? So now we should be able to set one of these. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and do this. Yeah. Oh, wait, we got byproduct too. Let's go ahead and break this. Go ahead and break this. Put these two next to each other over here, right? So let's put this, nope, not that. Put this here and put this here. I don't know if this will auto output. I think it will. I think it will. So let's go ahead and put a relay on top of this and a relay on top of this. And then we should be able to get the wrench, right? Take the wrench and go. Boom, boom, and can I just do this? Boom, boom, yeah. So now this should be getting power, yes. This should be getting power, yes. Put items in here, like so. Let's see if it auto outputs, and if it auto outputs, we're onto something. It doesn't seem to auto output. Hmm. Doesn't seem to auto output, but there are item relays. That would be this thing right here. Take a fluid relay and do that. Then you can get two of those. Yeah, let's do that. I mean, why not? Might as well, right? Boom. Cool. And then we do two fluid relays. And that should give us two item relays. Cool. Okay, so there's that. Now if we go just like this and like this... Uh, hold a compass to modify. Eh, just do that and do that. Doesn't seem to be taking anything from here and putting it over there. So we need a compass. All right, let's grab a compass and then that'll be it. It'll be the last thing we do. So compass is a piece of iron, which we don't have, and some redstone. So let's get uh, one, two... Four pieces of redstone, or is it four pieces of iron? Eh, I think it's four pieces of red. I think it's four pieces of iron and one piece of redstone. But since this has got power, we should be able to do... Oh, we should totally be able to do that. So that'll give us the four pieces of iron that we need. We'll make a compass. And I think we'll be in shape. So that's two. Give me two more. Quickly, quickly, quickly. One more. Ought to do. Cool. Okay, so now let's make this compass. It's weird that you have to use a compass to configure this, but I guess it's fine. Uh, so, compass. C-O-M-P-A-S-S, -S, compass, like so. Yep, totally, cool. So, hold a compass to configure, 
I don't know how you're supposed to configure it with a compass, but hey, what can I say? Oh, priority, right click to increase, right click to decrease. Uh huh. Uh huh. So, sneak right click to, so right click to increase, priority one. Not accepting items. Not pulling items. I bet it has to output to a chest. All right, if you guys know how this works, I would love to hear from you because sadly, folks, I'm out of time. So thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. The likes and subscriptions help out oh so immensely when it comes to those pesky YouTube search results. The other thing that helps out a lot is comments. So make sure you leave your comments right down there in the comment section below and we'll chat about it. Leave your chips, your tricks, your pointers, your attaboys, your what in the world were you thinking, all that stuff. And we will chat about it in kind down in the comment section. But once again, folks, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And until next time, we will catch you on the flip side. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.